When you hear the name wandering spider, what do you think of? Do you imagine a large probing spider slowly creeping across a leaf in a far off jungle? Perhaps your mind immediately jumps to the toxic and potentially life-threatening bite these spiders possess. Regardless of what imagery comes to mind when you think of these arachnids, chances are you don't imagine them to show up in your own backyard. My name is Jack, and I've spent my entire life traveling all over the world to find some of the most unique and dangerous animals alive. I'm willing to put myself on the line to prove that these creatures are far from the monsters many people believe them to be. Today I find myself searching for wandering spiders, not in a remote jungle on the other side of the planet, but here in the United States. What are they doing here? Are they as dangerous as their South American cousins? We'll just have to find out together. Now, this is really, really weird for me, folks, because essentially what I'm doing today is I am searching for wandering spiders in the United States. Yes, we have our own native species, which is crazy to think about. True wandering spiders in the Tinidae group. Uh, so it's going to be crazy because I found plenty of wandering spiders. We just found a huge female Phonutria depilata uh, back in Ecuador earlier this year. And now I'm in my home country of the United States looking for more wandering spiders. So we're gonna be flipping tons of logs. We're gonna be searching this amazing, fantastic forest. And uh, that's pretty much gonna be our MO today is checking under stuff because that's where these lovely little Florida wandering spiders are gonna be holed up. And whew, I'm hoping it's gonna be really cool if we were able to find an American species of wandering spider today. <laughs> Now, these spiders were proving more difficult to find than I had anticipated, so I began to take a different approach in my search. A lot of these wandering spiders, they'll cling up under logs and things like that. Um, <sighs> haven't really seen many over here, so I'm going to try and snake my way back out from under this log, um, because I, I think we're in good enough habitat, folks, and I think if I just really... If I really stay true to myself and 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 keep putting in the hours, I I think I'll be rewarded. Now it is just really really cool because this forest. I mean, it feels so much that it is not in the United States. This looks like I'm in some tropical country. We've got Spanish moss dangling from the trees. We've got all these lovely little palms and palmettos behind me, and just some really gnarly looking trees. So it's really no surprise that we have one of these amazing wandering spiders right here. And hopefully, I don't just get to talk about them today. Hopefully we can find one and get up close and personal, just see how dangerous are these wandering spiders here in Florida. These spiders can be quite difficult to find, but I'm sure with enough dedicated searching, we can scrounge one up. Hey man, have you found anything yet? No, not yet. <sighs> nothing here. There's nothing up here, folks. Nothing down there, folks. Finally, we spotted a promising log that looked perfect for a Florida wandering spider. Yo, Jack, there's some good cover over here. Yeah. I be worth checking. Let's check it out, boy. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. You got one? I got one. It looks like a little male here. Oh, I see him. Can you see him from there? Yeah, I can see him. Oh, he's gorgeous. Okay. He's just sitting underneath. He hasn't moved yet, but these are so explosively fast. All right, folks. Let me see if my animal catching prowess will work for me today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right there. <laughs> Florida wandering spider. This is the wandering spider we have here in the US. This is a small male, but still a good size spider for this species. The females get even larger. But this male, I'll take him today because we've been out here for hours, folks. And we finally got our lovely, lovely little true tenant, our true wandering spider out here. And uh, I think it's time to get intimate 
with our wandering spider. Let's take a look here, folks. These are fantastic little creatures. I want to carefully coax them out. Look at that. Oh, that right there, that's exactly what we wanted to find. These wonderful, wonderful little wandering spiders are true spiders, and they are, of course, relatives to the much larger, much more dangerous Phonutria, the Brazilian wandering spiders of Central and South America. Now, much like their larger cousins, these animals are incredibly nomadic and use their fast lightning speed and powerful venom to overtake invertebrate prey. Oh, man, I can't believe we got this. This is literally amazing that we were able to come out here in the state of Florida, not even Southern Florida. This isn't an invasive species. This is a true native spider to this fantastic state. And uh, you would think you'd have to go all the way to, you know, the middle of the Amazon rainforest in order to find a wandering spider like this. But no, folks, we are right here in the continental U.S. handling and filming a fantastic little wandering spider. How spectacular is that? Despite being related to the potentially deadly Brazilian wandering spiders, the bite from the Florida wandering spider is much less severe. Anything from mild pain and inflammation to more severe symptoms like dizziness and body aches can be observed with these bites. Of course it's no walk in the park, but it's unlikely a bite from this wandering spider would do much more than ruin a day or two. Now, you folks at home might be going, well, Jack, I mean, this basically just looks like a random species of wolf spider that you have there. Well, it's interesting that you might bring that up. These lovely little wandering spiders are cousins, close cousins, in fact, evolutionarily speaking, to the wolf spiders. And that's why they have a very similar body plan, both groups being active hunting true spiders. And that's where the wandering spiders really get their name, that iconic kind of nomadic, aggressive hunting style where they are pursuing prey, waiting for it in, in ample areas. It looks like these lovely species here in Florida seem to prefer kind of hunting in the gaps underneath logs and things like that and waiting for prey to maybe scurry a little too close and then they'll use those really powerful legs and lightning speed to jump over pounce exactly like that jump over and pounce on their prey these are fantastic hunters and just like all other wandering spiders yes of course they possess a toxic bite of course i don't have to worry nearly as much as i was worried for myself uh, while filming the much larger phonutria in ecuador uh, but sustaining a bite from this spider would likely not be very fun if you're enjoying this video on our lovely native wandering spider, check out this video I filmed in the remote jungles of Ecuador. In this video, I actually found and captured a true Brazilian wandering spider to discover the truth about their behavior and aggression in this part of the world. Click the video card or check the video comments to find the link for this adventure. I'll see you there. These are such fantastic little spiders. And as you can see, this is not an aggressive animal by any means whatsoever. This lovely little spider here, he's maybe a little confused. He's a little agitated. These animals are primarily nocturnal. So he's just kind of going like, man, you woke me up and uh, I was hunting all night. I got a long night of hunting tonight. And this is when I'm supposed to be resting under my log and getting some Z's, dude. Whoa. What's going on? I said, sorry, Mr. Wanderer Spider. I want to uh, show the world just how fantastic and cool you are. Not an aggressive animal, an animal that just kind of wants to get away from me. He's not enjoying filming this video as much as I am. And he's not enjoying being in this video as much as your hearts and your souls are as you are captivated by watching it on the screen. He's ready to get back to doing wandering spider things. But golly, this is just easily one of the coolest species of spiders you can encounter here in Florida. They are just so absolutely spectacular. We were having a little bit of bad luck at the beginning of our trip, uh, this little uh, rocket run down to Florida here uh, in November. 
and it was brutal, folks. And I'm so happy we were able to turn it around with some of the coolest arachnids out there. Because, man, I mean, where else in the world other than the tropics do you get to see wandering spiders? The answer is Florida. And uh, we, are, we are happy about it. Such fantastic little arachnids. Like most wandering spiders I've encountered, this lovely individual was not aggressive in the slightest. Its first and only thought from the beginning of our encounter was one of fleeing and escaping danger. Despite their nasty reputation, wandering spiders are still more interested in fleeing at the first sign of danger rather than standing their ground to fight. Just because an animal is venomous, even dangerously so, does not make them aggressive or malicious by default. Well, my friends, I think we had a fantastic time with this lovely male wandering spider here in Central Florida. So I'm actually going to assist him in finding his way back under this lovely little log that I stole him from. Come here, pal. It's all right. You're going home. Going home, going home. Look. Oh, yeah, he loves that. Oh, and there he goes right into the dark crevices to await the night when he can come back out and uh, stretch his little wandering spider legs and get something good to eat. Oh, that's so cool. Well, folks, that's just about everything I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe I taught you something you didn't know. Maybe you were completely unaware that there was a wandering spider species here in the great state of Florida. And I hope that you enjoyed getting to learn about that. And I hope that you're not scared that there's a wandering spider in the United States. As you saw, not an aggressive animal, not something that's out to get you. And you, I mean, we were out here searching for hours. You kind of have to be looking for these spiders to run into them. Nothing to worry about, just a cool species that just adds to the diversity of our wonderful United States. So thanks so much, my friends, for tuning in today. I really enjoyed teaching you about this spider. I hope that you learned something, but if you didn't get anything out of this video, you didn't enjoy it, you weren't entertained, you didn't laugh, you didn't learn, you just hated every second and you're still here, well then, my friends, I hope I can impart a little bit of wisdom with you right now. This planet is full of some fantastic diversity from the creepy spiders all the way to the fantastic world of mammals like you and like dogs and cats and bears. But my friends, every single creature, whether it's creepy and crawly or whether it's cute and cuddly, they all serve a vitally important role in their native ecosystems. Every single one of these organisms out here, the plants, the fungi, the bacteria, the animals, they all basically create a stable web. They create the health and the vitality of their ecosystem. And if we took any one of these groups of animals out, this entire environment could collapse in on itself and implode. So just something to think about. Yes, there are creepy crawlies. Yes, there might be some scary stuff, but they're not here to hurt us. And they only serve the roles that they are built to serve in their respective ecosystems to maintain the health and vitality of our planet as a whole. We benefit from that. We definitely need a healthy planet to live on, folks. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope I could leave you with something there. I hope to see you next week with the next upload. But honestly, folks, until then, please take care of yourselves. And uh, hopefully, I will see you next time. Take care.